Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to loop music that you are creating in Audacity. Now you will be able to loop a selection of music as well as an entire track. Let's get started. So you'll wanna have Audacity open. And once you have the file that you would like to start working with, you can go ahead and just uh, you know import your audio. And I'm gonna work with a melody from Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Now, the selection that I have is a little long for a loop, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete part of it. So I'm just going to have the selector icon, the tool selected, and then just select, and then just click on delete on my keyboard. So now I've got a smaller selection that I might be able to loop. So in order to loop this track, I will go up to transport, and then playing, and then loop play. You could also just press shift and space on your keyboard at the same time. And so it will continue to loop that music over and over again. That will loop for playback, but if you would like something to loop uh, for longer, let's say you want to export a track that has many loops. Now you won't be able to export something that loops infinitely uh, because you'll still have to export it as a track and that track will be a certain amount of length. Uh, at least you can loop during playback. And uh, let's say uh, you wanted to create a track with uh, several loops uh, one next to another. So let's say this is the selection that I wanted to have looped. All I will need to do will be to start at the beginning of the selection with the uh, selection tool, of course, and go at the beginning and then uh, make sure you've got the beginning selected. You'll see that yellow line pops up whenever you're at the beginning of a track or the end. And then just drag until you see the yellow line pop up again. And now you're at the entire selection and you're just going to press control copy, control C. Uh, you can also go up to edit and then copy. And then if you would like to paste it, then you just uh, click on the part where that yellow line comes in and I'm just gonna push uh, control V or you can go up to edit and then paste. And so now I pasted that entire selection. So I'm gonna start playing right here so you can hear uh, the difference between the two loops and let's see if the rhythm is correct. Actually, it doesn't sound too bad. Let me try one more time from the beginning. Actually, the timing of this one worked out pretty well. I got it right on. But let's say you needed to adjust this timing. Uh, what you can do is zoom in. So in order to zoom, what you can do is go to view and then zoom and then zoom in. Uh, control one will also zoom in. And you can keep control, you can keep pressing control one until you are zoomed way in. And let's say it was just a little bit off. Again, with the selection tool there, you just drag. And once you have the part selected that you would like, just uh, press delete. You can uh, either do that or uh, control Z will undo anything. So you can do that or with it selected, let's say you wanted silence there, just click on the silence audio selection. So that will make that part silent. In order to seamlessly make this a loop, what you can do is uh, fade in the first part here. So I will uh, go ahead and select that and then go to effect. And then I'm going to uh, click on fade out, sorry, fade out. So you wanna fade out the first part. And then the second one, you would want to fade in. And what I did there, I don't know if you noticed that little uh, hand that came up. So if you see that hand come up and you click on it, it will, uh, it can, you can create uh, one uh, tr seamless track here instead of having it be two tracks. So uh, keep that in mind. But let's say I wanted to fade this part in. I would just select the part that I want, go to effect, and then fade in. And that will uh, create a more seamless loop while you are listening to your music. Another thing to keep in mind when you're creating this loops, let's say you uh, had the two loops next to each other and this part right here got a little distorted. There was something a little not quite right with it. What you can do is zoom way in. So just keep pressing control one and you need to control, you need to zoom into like the very spot that it happens. Let's say that tiny spot there. If I click on that and then go to effect and then I click on repair, you'll notice that was still not uh, short enough. So I need to get uh, even shorter than that. So you'd have to find the exact spot where the distortion happened and then go up to effect and then repair and then it will repair that one spot. So you notice it worked that time that I just used it. So, uh, and then if you wanna zoom back out to the regular, you can do control two and now I'm back to the beginning. Uh, one last way that you can loop and this is probably the easiest way to add many loops. Once you have this the way you would like it, so I've got this loop exactly the way I want it. What I can do is then select the entire track. So to select the entire track, you can click right here in this gray area, or you can go to select all. And then now that I've got the track selected, all I need to do is go up to effect and then repeat. And then it will ask me how many times I would like to repeat this. 
So you can see the track is about seven seconds. If I repeat it 10 times, it'll be one minute and 26 seconds long. Let's say I wanna repeat it 20 times. It will tell me how long the track will be. So I'll press okay. And so now if I zoom way out uh, from this, you'll see it repeated over and over and over again so that I've got a very long loop. And then in order to uh, export your loop track, you would just go to file and then export and then you can export as your different sound files or MP3 or WAV. So you now know how to loop music within Audacity uh, with playback as well as uh, creating a looped track. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.